Hey guys, right now we're going to take a look at an app for reading light and there's a whole bunch of them within the app store here for Apple and I'm sure there's very similar ones for Android. Um, I'm a huge fan of the My Light Meter. Uh, it does cost some money. Uh, if you're not in the market for that, you can get the light and exposure meter for free right here. And since I already have it, I'll just click open. And because I haven't paid for it, got some ads going. Okay. The first thing I need to do when I turn this app on is hit the lock button next to ISO and lock my ISO to the number 400. Then my uh, app will work properly because the speed of our film is always going to be 400. That's never going to change. Next, I'm going to hit the lock button on the time or aka the shutter speed. And I'll set it to a shutter speed that kind of makes sense for our cameras, 250. All our cameras are going to have 250. And now it's telling me at 250 today to use f4. Um, I'm going to purposely just kind of move my viewfinder around here and you'll see that my aperture is changing because now I'm pointing it towards the sky and a, a lot more light is coming in. And then as I point it towards the trees, it's going to change to a smaller number. Okay, So uh, I just kind of make sure that what I want is in my viewfinder and take that reading. So I have 250 and 5.6 would be the appropriate settings for this lighting setup. If I go to 125, notice how the aperture number changes to f8. If I go to 60, um, it's going to change again. If I raise it up, like here I go to 1000, now it wants me to use 2.8. So it's just going to automatically give me the pair of shutter speed and apertures that's going to work for this lighting situation. Okay, I hope that helps you guys use this app a little better.